Hello friends, in this video we will explore Kanu, another long read genome assembly tool. So basically we will start with Kanu and its features followed by the installation process. Then we will see the assembly process and uh, we will do the hands on of running Kanu as the assembly tool. So far we have covered uh, Sasta, Fly, Miniasm, WTDBG2 and in this we will explore Kanu. And in the next video we will compare all these tools in terms of their output. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, main uh, pay link for Kanu, uh, the tool, and it it can be used to assemble both PacBio and Oxpor Nanopore uh, reads. And basically, it does uh, the assembly process in three phases. So first step, like it does the correction. So that means it will improve the base calling error from this platform, and this is followed by trimming. Uh, that means if some low quality bases are there, that will get trimmed out, and if some adapter contaminations are there, for example, SMRT bell adapters for pec bio so then those will be removed and then it does the assembly where it orders the reads into context then it generates the consensus sequences and also it is able to generate graphs of alternate path okay alternate path so in summary it does starting to ending that means it will help to error correction trimming and assembly everything is one simple tool sorry one in a single package it is uh, it does all the steps but only limitation is that it is computationally much much more time since uh, time intensive uh, time intensive tool for example in this demo data what i have been used for all the other tool this is the most time consuming it took almost to one and half or two hours to complete um, the assembly process yeah so it is computationally more intensive now the installation uh, simple like we need to clone this repository then we change into the directory and simply type make and how many threads uh, you want to run it so we can use that for running uh, this thing okay the assembly process similar to all other tools uh, after sequencing the data needs to convert it to fastq file and we do the cleaning and before and then kanu will uh, use kanu for assembly and the assembly dot fasta that will be used for you know the fast process so now uh, the commands are very simple kanu and then we have to give the prefix uh, the output prefix like in this case let's say my assembly and we need to create this folder kanu underscore assembly the directory and then we have to specify the approximate uh, 1 million genome size here so again mm, the uh, the help page says that the genome size should be your best guess of the haploid genome size of what is being assembled it is used primarily to estimate the coverage in the read how much read how much of the you know uh, genome size is covered so that purpose and it is not as desired the assembly size and um, and what would be uh, the you know the output preset like what kind of data we have sorry the nanopore in this case so we can give the nanopore then fasta file apart from that we can give pack bio and if we have hi-fi data then we can give pack bio hi -fi. so the command is simple but yeah it takes long time to run so let's uh, you know i will run over here okay Okay, so the Kano is installed in my PC over here, and so let's uh, bring everything in one line. Okay, so uh, like Kano followed by assembly D, and everything is ready. So we can now run it. So we have this uh, demo entity.fastq file over here. Okay, so here we have to give the uh, fastq file. Here we give demo entity.fastq. Okay, so it will take some time to run okay it's will take almost two hours so i'll pause my video and once it finishes then you know we can resume so yeah so it finished uh, the assembly process uh, so now we see we have this folder so we can go inside this i'm oh, sorry okay sorry i was in the wrong directory so now this is the correct directory so we have this uh, assembly folder so we can go there and we can see that there are lot many in outputs are there so the important one is myassembly.contig.fasta okay so we will be using this in the uh, next uh, quest process so the quest command is uh, simple uh, sorry and the quest is installed in my pc over here so just copy this and replace that uh, with the original path okay and the output is over here and so we have the input faster name is myassembly.contigs.fasta okay so the output is like kanu assembly underscore quest 
So now cost uh, is finished. So yeah, cost trees output is finished, and now we can open the report.html file. So let me zoom it. So here, Kanu assembled into 60 contigs, and the contigs size different. Uh, total contigs are different as the base pair threshold is increased. For example, there are 18 contigs are having more than 50,000 base pair length. And the largest contig is uh, 5 lakh something and total assembly size is this much and the N50 value is 57,000 and 75 is this much and L50 there are 14 contigs which constitute the 50% of the genome size L75 is 30 and this assembly has around 46.27 genome size okay of the genome assembly size so now this plot is the cumulative plot like how the assembly size increases as we keep on adding all the contigs and there are 60 contigs are there and the next plot shows the distribution of n values so we have n50 over here and n75 is over here okay and the gc content is also looks normal but there are some higher gc content are also low gc content regions are there and we can simply go by context uh, there are contexts like five assembly is between 40 to 45 and majority of them 55 are between 45 to 50 percent of the gc content they have so in summary uh, like so kanu uh, tool is simple command okay so simply one command but and it does all the process like uh, that's why it takes long time like error correction trimming and assembly and uh, also it generates alternate path so that's why it is computationally uh, more intensive and time intensive also so yeah so we have uh, so far covered all these tools for assembly uh, you know in the next step uh, what we will be doing is like uh, uh, compare these multiple assemblies using quest but before that uh, we will have one more uh, session on uh, like understanding these uh, different assembly statistics so that we can so when we use quest we will understand each of these parameters like the n50 value l50 ng50 lg50 similar na50 ng50 so these are different uh, matrices that are there uh, when we use for assembly so in this first we will go through all these assembly statistics parameter then we will use quest actually to compare all these five tools so yeah thanks for watching this video hope uh, this was useful yes like and subscribe and press the bell icon thanks a lot thank you